these following clips, we're going to talk about removal and replacement of the vehicle's fuel filter. In this clip, we're going to talk about the final step you want to perform before you open the fuel system. On a fuel injected vehicle, it's going to carry in the lines approximately 40 to 50 pounds of fuel pressure. If you were to just take off your clamp, and uh, remove the hose, it may spray gasoline in your face, eyes, all over your clothes. One thing you're going to want to do is in a remote location is depressurize the fuel system. Most vehicles have what they call a Schrader valve. It looks just like a valve stem for your tire. This particular vehicle does not have one. What it has is a banjo bolt on the fuel rail. That is where we're going to depressurize the system at. This banjo bolt is located right here. And you can see it's a good distance away from me and I can crack the system open at arm's length. Let's take my socket and put it on there and give it a tweak. There was a small squirt of gasoline that shot out the back as you can see. I got gasoline on my fingers. It's much better just to let it shoot off over here than to have it shoot on your clothes, in your face, or various other locations. Depending on the particular engine and the volume of fuel that it carries, just as a precaution, uh, if you have a nice garage floor, throw a piece of cardboard underneath it. That'll catch the gasoline and keep it from staining your concrete. 